In this video, I'll show you how to create this simple responsive login form using Tailwind and React. We are going to create this project from scratch by creating a React project and adding Tailwind into it. And I will be explaining every line of code. So let's get into it. To start the project, just create a empty folder on your desktop, drag and drop it inside VS Code. Here I have my empty folder. I will open up a terminal. We are going to create the React project by using Vite. So npm create Vite at latest. And it is going to ask you a couple of questions such as project name. If you give it a project name, it is going to create a new folder inside this folder. So I will just put a dot in here. The package name can stay the same. In this menu, we are going to select React and select JavaScript. And now type npm install to install necessary dependencies. And this is going to take a couple of minutes. And it is done. We have the React project. Now let's add the Tailwind into it. You can find the link to the Tailwind's website. Go into this website and inside the search, let's type down Vite and click on this. Install Tailwind CSS with Vite. So we have already done this part to create the project. To install Tailwind, I will copy and paste it into my terminal. And with this line, npm is going to install Tailwind post CSS and auto prefixer as dependencies. And after this is done, copy and paste the second line. And this is going to create the config file for Tailwind. And it is going to initialize Tailwind as well. And as you can see, a Tailwind CSS config file and post CSS config file has been created. Let's go inside the Tailwind config file we are going to copy and paste this path. And these are basically the file types that Tailwind is going to look for. And finally, we need to copy and paste this directives into the main CSS file. Let's go into the source. And this is the main CSS file. Let's delete all of this, copy and paste these directives. And now we should be good to go. Let's run this project by saying npm run dev. Click on this link to open this project on the browser. And before we start, we need to clean this up a little bit. Let's delete all of these imports. And also I will delete this div. Let's delete the CSS file as well because we are not going to be using a external CSS file. Let's delete the app.css. And let's see if Tailwind is working. I will create a h1, let's say Tailwind. And for the class name, let's make the text really big and it works fine. So before we start, make sure that you have this extension installed, which is Tailwind CSS IntelliSense. And this will make our job a lot easier by showing us the class names while we type. Let's close the terminal as well. So I will delete these fractions and create a section. And I want to make this section cover the entire page by setting it to minimum height 100vh. So I will use the class name minHScreen. And if I hover over it, you can see it minimum height 100 vh. I will make this a flex container so we can center the items that we are going to create inside. And this is display flex. So I will keep hovering over this class names so we can see what we are doing. To center the items inside, we will use align item center and justify content center. And align item center is items center and justify center. I will set the font to mono space and let's create a background gradient which is pretty simple i will use background gradient to right and this is a regular 
linear gradient inside CSS. It goes from left to the right. So there are special class names for colors, for gradients. So for the first color, we need to use from, and this is going to be a blue color. And as you can see from left, it starts with this color. And we also need to use a class name for the percentage. So this color starts from left to the right, 10%. And in the middle, we are going to use a purple color. And to put it inside the middle, we will use via. Let's use indigo 500. And same as the other, we need to put a percentage. So via 50%. And this is 15% of the way. And to end the gradients, we will use two sky 500 to 100%. And we have three colors from left to the right. And with this 100%, we have completed the gradient line from left to the right. Now that we have the container, now we can create the login form. I will create a div with the class name flex to make it a flex container. And I will give it a box shadow. And it is going to be a big box shadow, so 2x large. As you can see, it has some variables inside and a box shadow. Inside this one, we are going to have another flex container. But this time, we will change the flex direction to column. And it is also very easy. Flex call is going to set the flex direction to column. Let's center the items inside using item center and justify center. I will also center the text inside and give it a padding of 20. And if I hover over it, you can see it is 5 RAM. You can also see it's equal in pixels. So 5 RAM is 80 pixels of padding on each side. And for the items inside, I will put a gap of 8. And this is going to be 2 RAM. And let's set the background to white. And give it a border radius, which is going to be rounded. And let's increase it to 2XL. Inside this, I will create a H1 with the class name text. 5 XL and let's set the font to bold and this will set the font weight to 700. Let's say welcome. Right under this H1, I will create another div with the flex class name and change the flex direction to column. I will make the text inside to Excel and align the text on the left. Put some gap between the elements inside, so gap 1. It is equal to 4 pixels of gap. And inside this div, we are going to have a span and a input. And the span is going to have the text username. Right under this, we're going to have the input. And it is going to have rounded corners. So this is rounded medium. And it is equal to 6 pixel of border radius. I will give it a padding of 1 which is equal to 4 pixels and border is going to be 2 which is border width 2 pixel and I will delete and I will delete the outline using outline none when you click on this input so focus border is going to be this blue color and also the background color is going to be this gray color and let's see how it looks as you can see, when I click on the input, the border turns into blue and the background gets a little bit darker. And just like this one, we are going to have another div with the flex class name. Flex direction will be column. Text is going to be 2XL and it is going to be aligned to the left. And the gap between the elements is going to be 1, which is 4 pixels inside this. This time we will have a text of password and right under it a input again. Type is going to be password and we can just copy and paste this class names from this input to this one because they are going to be identical and they are both working fine. So inside this div right under this input we are going to have another div with the class name of flex gap is going to be 1 and items is going to be centered. Inside, let's have a checkbox. Right under the checkbox, we're going to have this span. 
with the text remember password and let's give it a class name of text base and text base is font size of 1 rem and line height of 1.5 rem so next we are going to create the login button outside this div and this one let's create a button that says login so to make this button bigger we will set some padding so px is going to be 10 and this is for the x axis so left and right so padding left 40 pixels and padding right 40 pixels and padding y is going to be 2 padding top 8 pixels and padding bottom 8 pixels I will make the text a lot bigger and give it rounded corners and I will set a background gradient just like we did with the background so a background gradient to the right it is going to be from this green color to this blue color and when you hover over this button we will have another gradient which is going to be from this pink color to this yellow color and text color is going to be white so we set a padding to the left and to the right and to the top and the bottom increase the text size and give it rounded corners and a background gradient from left to the right so from green to blue and this hover state when you hover over this it is going to go from pink to the yellow and we set the text color to white right under this button we will have a paragraph which is going to say don't have an account and inside a anchor tag you're gonna have this register button so let's give the paragraph a font of semi bold which is font weight 600 and for the anchor tag I will make this text blue and when you hover over it it is going to have a underline so let's see how this is looking the buttons hover effect is working fine and the register button as well so looks like the only thing left is to add the image and make this responsive so right outside this div I will create a image and I will put my image inside but we need to import this inside the assets folder I have this image you can find the link in the description if you are going to use this same image let's go to the top and import this image as image from the assets folder image.jpg so we are going to set a fixed width for this image and it is very easy to use fixed numbers inside Tailwind I will just open up a set of brackets and I will put the number inside which is going to be 450 pixels and object cover to make this image fit its container and at the moment it looks like this when the viewport gets smaller we are going to hide this image and also we have a problem with this border radius as well for this form we are going to only have rounded corners on the top left and bottom left and we are going to delete the bottom right and top right and the opposite for this image so I'm going to set a breakpoint by using Excel rounded top right is going to be 2x large and this basically means until the viewport hits this number which is the minimum width of 1280 pixels we are only going to have this top right radius and also for the bottom right as well and I'm going to use the same breakpoint to display this image as a block level element and the image is going to be hidden so this means until the viewport gets as small as this number this image is going to be displayed but once you go down this number it is going to be hidden and let's find the form as well 
So over here, once you hit this exact number in the viewport, we are going to delete the top right border radius and the bottom right border radius. And this is going to fix the border radius problem. So as you can see, once these two parts are side by side, we don't have a border radius on these corners, but we have border radius on the outside. And when the viewport gets down 1280 pixels, the image is not visible anymore. And we have border radius on every corner. So this is how we can create this login form using React and Tailwind. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you for your time and I will see you next time.